Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you the formula that I used to differentiate between long tail keywords and short tail keywords in Google Data Studio. So in the dashboard we're talking about, there are two questions we need to answer. How many impressions am I getting from long tail keywords? How much do we spend on long tail keywords? Then how many impressions am I getting from short tail keywords? And how much do we spend on short tail keywords? So basically at the moment, uh, these four charts, this one, this one, this one, and this one, they are all showing uh, this exact same data. So what we want to do is to show only long tail keywords uh, on this top uh, pair of charts and then show only short tail keywords on this bottom pair uh, of charts. So the first thing we need to do is, uh, if we look here at this page, uh, it's Data Studio Help, this page uh, contains a list of functions that we can use in Google Data Studio. So the one we're interested in is rejects expression match okay this one is the one we're interested in and so to use this one we need to use a rejects expression now a tool that can help us to create a rejects expression um, is this website rejects101.com so i've opened it and i've selected the languages python and here I'm going to write the regular expression and down here I'm going to write the test. So uh, let us first write uh, for short tail keywords and then for long tail keywords. Now my research showed me that short tail keywords usually have between one and two words while long tail keywords have three or more words. So the first one let's create for short tail keywords which have one to two words. So um, I'm just going to write the expression uh, very fast. Okay. So I'm going to say we want all small letters and all capital letters. And then we want any digit because the keyword can contain a digit. And then um, this should be followed by a space. Okay denoted as backslash s and then a word boundary denoted by backslash b then we are going to say that we want uh, this to be one or two okay and then we want to say that after the second um after the second word we don't want any other word after that so if any other word is after that 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 keyword is automatically uh, a long tail keyword. So to do to say that we don't want any other key, any other word after the second word, we add a dollar sign. Now here, I'm going to write a test. So I'm going to write one word. It should pass. So I'm going to say test, and you can see here it says one match. So it's catching. It's it's getting the one word. Then I'm going to write another word like uh, word as you can see it's so it, it returned true for one word and now for two words but what if i try to add a third word let's say uh, third now you can see it's saying no match okay so now this one is the rejects expression that we need to uh, capture short tail keywords so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to our dashboard Okay, and then I'm going to click on one of these charts. Um, then I'm going to go back to the data tab. Okay, and then down here, I'm going to come to filters and I'm going to say add a filter. Now I'm going to create a filter. okay then i'm going to say include what are we including the search keyword this is what we want to include 
so I'm going to search here for search keyword it, here it is and then I'm going to say that the condition is it rejects expression match okay and then here I'm going to paste I'm going to copy our rejects expression and paste it here and by the way I also need to include this R R and um, and uh, I'm going to include this okay let's see I'm, I'm not really sure let's see so um, okay let's see if it works so let me save and as you can see it captures the one word the the keyword with one word okay now this one is a short tail keyword so that is a mistake i'm supposed to apply on this on on this set of of charts so uh let's go back to the filters say add filter and then i'm going to add search word filter hmm. okay and while we are at that i'm going to click on that pen icon and i'm going to name this i'm going to name this short tail keyword now this one will make it easier for us to identify which kind of filter we are dealing with okay so right here it's saying short tail keyword and then also for this one i'm going to say that we are using um short tail keyword filter so it should be one word okay now let's come now to the long tail keywords okay now in the long tail keywords it's actually the same same rejects expression the only the, the only difference is that here instead of saying one or two words we are going to say three or more words so i'm going to remove this and then i'm still going to say three comma and leave it like that so it is three and anything after that so if it's 50 words it's going to capture if it's 20 words it's going to capture and as you can see here it's saying one match because here we have three words okay now if i try to remove these three words again okay, you can see it's saying no match so it's working so this one is the regex expression that we are going to use for uh, long tail keywords so again we go back to data studio and now i'm going to say add filter then create new filter and then i'm going to call this one long tail uh, keywords okay then i'm going to say that i'm looking for search keyword that is what i'm filtering on search keyword and then the condition again should be rejects expression match okay and then we just paste we just paste our rejects expression the one we have gotten from the other website so i'm going to say save and now we should see three because there were four keywords uh, so now we can see so you see it's capturing only three or more keywords it's only that uh, the data we are using only had a small set of keywords so i'm also going to apply the long tail key uh, the long tail keywords filter to uh, this and we should also have three bars instead of four yes so i think it worked so i hope uh, in any in case of any question you can just uh, ask and i'm going to explain i'm also going to share the uh, regex expressions so that you can just copy paste them on your end thank you